This is One on One. Brought to you by New Jersey Resources. Toulouse sets out on a weird, wonderful journey, exploring some pretty amazing stuff as he searched for the famous elephants. It wasn't long before he found them. First was Linus, the elephant of line, Starla, the elephant of shape, and Rainbow, the elephant of color. They taught Toulouse about each of these elements, but more importantly, they showed him how great they look when used together. That is so great. You're looking at a video, a uh, book of the same name. The author is Jo o O'Mara. She is a writer and illustrator, The Elephants of Art. She's an art teacher for urban arts at Monroe Center in Hoboken, New Jersey. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You? I'm doing great. great. Uh, tell me, by the way, I want to thank our good friend, Nikki Matarazzo, our mutual friend who brought us together for yes. you to be here. Yes. G give me a sense. The video, the book, the premise. Okay, well, the, the premise is, um, obviously, it's a pun, and I can't help it. I'm a big fan of puns. But um, I teach young kids, and I want to teach them the elements of art. The, the ele elements. Elements of Not art. Not the elephants right. of art. And um, they're important. They're line, they're shape, color, um, texture, value, space, and form. Mm -hmm. um, and there's something that artists use all the time, but everybody uses them. Uh, you know, architects use them, um, engineers use them, hair salons. I mean, they're all things that have to do with visual. Um, right. I was just doing a lesson, then we were doing a robot collage, and I used the inside board of a computer, and I showed the kids that inside are all those elements, too, inside of machines. Um, so they are all around us, and I just feel like when kids have a visual awareness of them, not only does it help them draw, which is what the book's about, it shows you how to put them together to draw. That's right. But, you know, they'll be walking down the street and they'll see, you know, the way a shadow falls on the grass and they'll see the lines or they'll see a snail and say, look, there's a swirly line. Um, and they're just more aware of things around them. Um, so, you know, to me, it's, it just heightens their awareness and they're also putting together things and learning how to make things connect and that helps their drawings. You know, Joe, I gotta tell you, what's fascinating to me is I was reading the book with our six-year-old daughter and 12-year-old son, okay. they were both together, and they were going back and forth page by page. And they were laughing over the elephants, if you will, right. otherwise known as the elements of art. Right. And I realized that both of them were learning yeah. as they were laughing. Yeah. How important is the humor? Well, the humor is very important, and I'm finding that the parents are learning too. A lot of times when I explain the book or the kids go home and they talk to the parents, they're like, what, what's, what are they talking about, you know? And I've had people, I've had teachers tell me I never knew about them either. Um, so it's really important. Um, the, f the fun is, gets them into it. I mean, the name Engages of, them. Right, the main character, his name is Little Toulouse. Now that's an Little artist. Little Toulouse, that's right. Yeah, that's an artist. His name is Toulouse Lautrec. And he oh, would, come on, even I knew that. <laughs> okay, not a lot of people do. But, um, and he was a small man, um, and um, the kids just love walking around saying his name. We're looking at pages right there. Oh, just They love oh, saying good. Toulouse, right? Yeah, little Toulouse, a Toulouse, as they say. it, And it brings them into it. Um, you know, and they all love the characters. You have a female, she's the pretty one, and, you know, they have the little girl, and, you know, they do. But, I mean, I know growing up, I learned about art through humor. And it sounds really crazy, but I remember, now you're my age about, um, do you remember a cartoon, Deputy Dog? It I do. It was a long time ago, and. You grew up in Bloomfield, Bloomfield. New Jersey? Bloomfield, <laughs> I, you, you had to do that. Bloomfield. You had to do that. <laughs> Never mind, that's inside. Um, yeah. For a lot of people who don't get that. No, Bloomfield, the way, yeah. Yeah, it's a different pronunciation. That's right. If you're from there, but here's the thing. You grew up in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Was art big or was it big for you? Because it didn't... It, it wasn't big. I mean, I can't say I learned a lot in, in, like, you know, school. Once I was a senior in high school and I knew that's what I, you know, you know, they, that's where you kind of get to concentrate well, on where it. was the passion for you? Um, the passion? Yeah, where did it click? How and why did it click in for you? Well, uh, I think what started was like four, maybe five years old. I'm one of five, so we had a lot of kids running around the house. And um, I had older brothers and sisters and my older brother was whining about his homework and he had to draw a horse and my mother's like let Joanne do it for you she'll do it for you and I'm like wait wait I know how to draw and he doesn't you know and I noticed that I I did and I you had a and gift. I yeah and I think I decided right then and there and you know my mom kind of didn't say you have a gift and this this and that but you know she, every once in a while I got a little bit of it 
the attention and you know she would show me how to do things when I was doing projects and you know I was talking to her the other day about it. I'm like and she's like I didn't teach you anything I said well you did you taught me a lot of things you know just little techniques of how to do things and I use them like I use them today so I mean I knew from day not day one maybe like I said four or five years old that that's what I wanted to do and I I stuck with it and um a graphic artist graphic Many artist years. for almost 30 years yeah and um, you know, I was did a lot of publishing work for Forbes, Spin Magazine, um, logo designs, you know, everything. But when, real quick, in the time we have left, sure. the transition to te teaching and writing, and the, where well, did that all happen? I moved away to Georgia for a while, and I was um, not like Bloomfield. No, and that's why I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do that. <laughs> and the food is not like. Oh, I'm sorry. The food's no, no, not like Bloomfield no, either. That's okay. But um, so you know, I was doing fine art then, and then I realized I had to start getting a real job, and um, um, so I gave teaching a try, just a little after school thing, and it was wow. so natural and fun, and I was having fun with the kids. I mean, we we were having fun, and um, you know, I just started. I'm leaning toward there, and I, I worked on it, and I took some classes, and um, you know, I just feel so natural there, and um, you know, and I love the kids are learning, and the book kind of came about because they mispronounced it in class. They didn't Elements. know what an they didn't know what an element was. There was no face to it, you know. So when they they did mispronounce it, and everyone thought it was hysterical, and we built it from there. I mean, I started with two year olds um, when that happened. And you know they're five in the class now, and I'm just finishing the book, and they wow. were all part of it. They were like my little mini editors, you know. And the students. Yeah, and they added to it. Um, Your students. Yeah. By the way, is there something about Hoboken and art? Um, so As a community. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. Why? And, and I stumbled upon here by accident, and um, I came up for a wedding, and you know got a job in an apartment, and um, in one weekend, and um, luckily I ended up down in the Monroe, Monroe Center, and that place is. Just that building alone is, you know, art, dancing, sewing. Um, they make the All Muppets in one area? They make the Muppets in the Monroe Center. Is and, that right? Yeah, it's really cool. And, um, you know, and there's dancing and there's just a lot. And they're also preschools, so everything works together for me. I mean, I, I'm in that building, whether it's teaching the preschoolers or working at Urban Arts, and, um, you know, I just meet so many people and everybody... You know, I know people from bookstores, and I it just everybody seems to connect. So I'm, I can't walk down the street and, are you the art teacher? You know, I've, I see kids all the time, and I'm like, you know my name. Stop calling me the art teacher. But you love it, don't you? Yeah, oh, I do. And you're connecting with them. Oh, definitely. And making a difference. Yeah. What's I, better than that? I found I found my home. I'm back home, and I found my place to be, and um, and I have a lot more where that came from. Um, do you mind if I plug your book again? Please do. <laughs> the book is called The Elephants of art, an educational art story written and illustrated by Joe O'Mara. Uh, Bloomfield's finest, now uh, in Hoboken. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> glad we, we're glad we got you back from thank Georgia. Thank you so much, and thank, thank you, you so for much. the invite. I appreciate, we appreciate it. it. Brought to you by New Jersey Resources, Berkeley College, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, and by the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor.